is going on everybody? I've got an unboxing for you today and it is the official Samsung leather back cover for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Well, the Note 20 Ultra and the Ultra 5G. Of course, just the 5G version available here in the US. I typically like to use my phones without a case. I unboxed and gave a few tips and tricks on uh, using this Note 20 Ultra a day or two ago. Hope you guys checked out those videos. And this is of course a really, really nice color, this Mystic Bronze. So I will be trying to use this phone without a case for a while, but there will be days where you'll be a little bit more active or just wanna switch it up or add some protection. In which case, I really like using Samsung's leather covers. We'll get into all that, but uh, let me unbox this for now. So this leather cover comes in brown, black, and green. And I went with the black here, obviously. So let's unbox this. Of course, uh, it is a minimalist boxing, minimalist packaging. It says Samsung on top, says leather back cover, says the phone model. And you can already see here on the cover, you've got Samsung branding kind of on the bottom. Nothing on the sides. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the top, except this tab here. So let's open this thing up. Am I gonna need a knife? Probably. I've got one handy. Let's open that up for you. All right. Let's see. Oh, well, we got a little tab here to pull up from, so that's convenient. Pull that up. There we go. Really, really, really nice. I really like the quality of Samsung's leather covers. They seem to deteriorate a little less quickly than the Apple leather covers. Um, and look, I'm not trying to start an Apple, <laughs> uh, Apple Samsung war, uh, but you know, we've, I, I've used the leather covers from both and um, the patina effect actually looks really nice on the brown. So you might actually prefer that with the Apple cases, but the leather seems to be protected a little bit better, better on the Samsung leather cases, but this is really, really nice here. I, I, I love the feel of this and um, ah, very much smells like genuine leather. It feels like I just uh, got into a brand new car when I smell this. Very, very nice. I like this a lot. So as you see here, Samsung branding, you can kind of feel it with your finger here as well. And you, of course, you've got the cutout for the camera housing. And it is that is a big, big camera hump on that phone. And even with the case, you see the camera protection area, the camera hump area protrudes a little bit because the case itself is still quite thin. On the sides, of course, uh, clean on the left side of the case, just like uh, there are no buttons on the left side of the phone. And on the right side, you of course have your volume rocker and your power button. A really nice feel inside here, uh, kind of a soft fabric touch. Let me peel this sticker off. And uh, there are changes to the case compared to, well, just the, the S20 cases that came out, the leather cases. Uh, and last year's Note 10. This is the red leather case from last year's Note 10. And um, what are the changes? Well, you see how it is uh, closed from the top. Okay, so there's no change there. But on the bottom, the case used to be open. And I actually liked that. It was very easy access to the ports. You don't have to worry about um, you know, any sort of interference with the microphone on the bottom. It was open from the bottom, getting your S Pen out, etc. But this year, the leather case is closed from the bottom. So you see the comparison here. This was for the regular Note 10, but the case was the same for the Note 10 Plus as well. And so, yeah, like I said here, you've got, you know, you, you've got your opening here for the USB-C port. Uh, you've got an opening for the S Pen uh, and an opening for the speaker grill and for the microphone here. But yeah, it's closed on both sides now. So that is a change. That is a departure uh, from what it used to be. And this is the S20, the regular S20. And I've got the official brown leather case here. I've been doing uh, videos on how it's been aging basically month by month. And it's been aging really well. I've been using this since the phone launch, late February, early March. Of course, I haven't been going out too much because of, uh, well, the pandemic that's going on. So maybe it hasn't I don't know, it hasn't been put to use as much as maybe it otherwise would. Plus I baby my phones a little bit, I'm, I'm very careful with them. But it's aged, uh, it's aged really, really well. On the sides here, on the edges, there's a, a little bit of wear, a little bit of wear and tear. 
But the most major blemish I've noticed just this month was right here in the corner. And that makes sense. Usually it ages from the corners first. I don't know what it is. Um, I can't think of, of what that is. I haven't dropped the phone, what have you. So it must, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's using hand sanitizer. Maybe the, the chemicals from it. I don't know. But uh, starting to see a little bit of that patina effect, a little bit of wear on that corner. Nothing really on this corner, at least comparatively. It's just the edges from maybe taking the phone in and out of my pocket. So you see how it's aged there. But yeah, even on the S20 case, the bottom is uh, is open here. So you see, the, you see the difference. The leather case was open on the bottom on the Note 10 on the S20, but it's closed on the Note 20's case. So, all right, let's, uh, let's put this on the phone and see how it looks and how it fits. That easy, very, oh, spoke too soon. That easy, very, very nice. Looks beautiful. Of course, the, the phone, which is already huge, is gonna feel slightly larger with a case on it now, but it is a small case. It is a pretty minimalist case. Here's how it looks with the case on. Buttons are nice and tactile and clicky. And this is why I got the black case. Very, very beautiful. I think it contrasts very nicely with that uh, bronze camera housing, a little bit darker than the color of the phone. I was thinking of going with brown again, but I feel like, you know, if I wanted to switch it up, it's not that much of a difference between the Mystic Bronze and the brown case. So I went with black. I think it contrasts very nicely, very nice and elegant. I can uh, picture fall and uh, winter evenings going out and, uh, and wanting to look nice and, you know, feel like you're styling a little bit. So also, if you just bought either the silver or the black, that is Mystic Silver or Mystic Black Galaxy Watch 3, it's gonna match really nicely with that black leather strap that comes with the watch. So very, very nice, very, very stylish. Although I will say that my favorite black leather strap for the Galaxy Watch, Galaxy Watch 3, etc., is still uh, this black leather one with the brown perforations and brown stitching instead of the white. But anyway, very, very nice. And so uh, it's really cool that instead of silicone, you get a leather band with that Galaxy Watch 3, but uh, that's neither here nor, here nor there. But I uh, just wanted to point out that, that these match pretty well here if you got the black case. So very, very nice. Uh, that's about it, I guess. There's not much to it. It's, uh, it's a case. Again, this is the Note 10 case. Open from the bottom. That is the main difference between the Note 10 and Note 20 Samsung official leather cases. Whereas here it is closed. I prefer it open. And I would love to see that bronze kind of kind of shining through that polished bronze finish on the bottom. But uh, that's okay. Uh, no big deal. I know a lot of you actually prefer it to be closed. I'm, I'm just not one of those people I prefer it open, but uh, no big deal to me. Got the case anyway. Just letting you know about the difference here. So it feels really good in the hands. Scrolling is nice and easy. And uh, you know, as I said, it's gonna feel a little bit bulkier than not having a case, but I'll probably be using the, the phone without a case anyway. So that's it. Official Samsung leather back cover in black for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. And, and I've already made several videos about the Note 20 Ultra, so feel free to check those out. If you like videos like this, hit the like button and the subscribe button to let YouTube know you like them so that YouTube can show you more videos of this sort. That's all from me. I hope you're all staying safe, staying happy, staying healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.